Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. It's me, your boy, Operation B Population here. We have good, really, really good news, good developments, and look at this perfect timing. You, you, mm-hmm, perfect. Okay, that's all we're going to be able to do because you're still child, but look at this. Look at this. This is basically amazing. 64 honeycombs. 56 more the start it couldn't be any more perfect and finally today is the day we're gonna be able to actually finish this bee farm for once and for all then it's all up to operation bee population if you couldn't tell i'm like so excited maybe too excited about this look at this it looks so good i i'm not switching this out for terracotta no never honeycombs they were always the plan look at how good that looks that looks really good, but uh, anyways, that's going to be enough for Operation B Population today because you, you, oh. All right, so anyways, decided to switch things over to a time lapse bit right here to explain the project that we're going to start today and maybe even continue in the next couple episodes. The villagers. The villagers are really, really cool. Yeah, by the way, a panda got out of the exhibit. I don't know how that happened, but villagers, they're really cool. We have a couple in the jungle already, but the plan is to have more. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe, all, all of them. them. I, I really hope I don't regret saying that later, but yeah, all of them. Anyways, if we want to get all of the villagers, we should probably start uh, getting more villagers. Yeah, that would definitely make sense. So today, that's the plan. Fisher Villager. I have a really cool build in mind, and I have the perfect spot for a Fisher Villager building that would really help fill up the world. But since we're talking about the Fisher Villager, which in all honesty isn't the best villager, I figured we would talk a little bit about fishing today too. So, right here, what you're seeing is a fishing time lapse. I fished for a little while, I'll show you what I got afterwards, but fishing. In Minecraft, you, you can fish, but, uh, spoiler alert, fishing in Minecraft, it's not really good. Not at all. It really needs an update, but we're going to talk about it anyways. So, to fish in Minecraft, you need two things. Water, fishing rod. Fishing rod, easy. Craft one, and then I actually went ahead and enchanted my fishing rod too. There are two specific fishing rod enchantments, Lure and Luck of the Sea. We'll talk about which one I got in the enchantments a little bit more in a second. But yeah, two enchantments, fishing rod. Make one of those. The other thing that you're going to need is water. Now, how much water? Uh, warning, this is insanely realistic. One block of water. Yep, that's right. You could theoretically place a block of water down on the ground, throw the bobber into that thing. Might be a little tricky. You could do it. And you could catch fish there. Infinitely. Like, forever. Um, yeah. It's realistic, okay? Craft a fishing rod. Find water. Use the fishing rod on the water in your bobber. The lure will go into the water. It'll sit on the water. Wait and wait and wait. Eventually, you'll see particles. Then your bobber should go under the water. That right there means you've caught something. As soon as the bobber goes under the water, press the use button again, reel it in, and you'll get something. What will you get? Well, it'll either be a fish, a junk, or a treasure. Fishing in Minecraft has three separate loot categories. In category number one, you have all of the fish. Puffer fish, yep, yeah, every single fish in the game. Category number two is going to be junk. Junk items are things like leather boots, lily pads. This stuff on this chart right here, big shout out Minecraft Wiki. Now, down the chart also has the other items, the treasure items. The treasure items are really good and cool items. Now, pre 1.16, uh, AFK fish farms were amazing, but 1.16 Minecraft, it did them bad. It, it hurt them and basically removed them from the game, possibly forever. I still am trying to decide if we're going to build an AFK fish farm in this world. I'm not too sure. But anyways, you have three different categories of loot. When you fish, you could get any of these categories, different chances to get different items, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, there is one really cool thing about fishing that I am like in love with, and I wish it were more of a thing. That thing check out this chart right here so this is the fishing chart for fishing in the jungle where we're actually currently fishing so fishing in the jungle is a little bit different when you fish in the jungle you actually have a chance to catch bamboo and cocoa beans too things that you won't be able to catch anywhere else in the world so basically in the jungle and only in the jungle no other biome in minecraft you have the chance to catch unique items which is potentially really cool Imagine if you could fish in the swamp and there was like a way increased chance of lily pads and maybe like fish in the lush caves and you get drip leaf plants in, in 1.17. Yeah, it would be really, really cool. So time lapse is over. We're going to go ahead and wait for this one final catch. Maybe we'll get something really good, like a name tag. That would be amazing. Then I'm going to show you the loot. I got some pretty good stuff. There are two little things that you should probably know about fishing, though. Uh, fishing in the rain is actually a little bit faster than normal and fishing in like a cave or like underneath 
blocks, like not out in the open, is slower than normal. So technically, it would be best to fish in the rain in a water source block that is open to the sky. But uh, the loot, we got really lucky. Look at this, a Nautilus shell. That's amazing. This is the first Nautilus shell of the world. A little bit of salmon uh, and some other fish. So really just the Nautilus shell. That's the big thing here. Now, this fishing rod has Luck of the Sea 3 on Breaking 3. Luck of the Sea 3 is amazing. Uh, with Luck of the Sea 3, you have a better chance to catch those treasure items. So things like name tags, Nautilus shell. Yeah, that's really cool. Now, the other fishing rod enchantment, Lure. Lure, just like Luck of the Sea, has three different levels. With lure, you'll catch things a little bit quicker. All right, so if we never make a fish farm, uh, big rip for fishing, but that's probably the last time we're ever going to fish. There's just not enough to it. It really needs an update. I have to put this up away, though. Then we can talk about today's build. So today we're going to get a fisher villager and, and maybe, depending on what the trades are, get that fisher villager all the way up to the max level. That could be cool. But before we can actually get the villager, we need a building for the villager. The building for the villager, be, because it's revolved around fishing, definitely needs to be by the water. And by the water, oh boy, by the water, I have the perfect spot in mind for this house. Once we get this thing in, the world is going to instantly feel like way more complete. Like, like actually exactly 123% more complete. This is going to be kind of crazy. All right, so that perfect spot for the Fisher House is definitely, absolutely, right over there where the red shulker box with the materials and the red bed are. It's gonna be right next to the Fletcher Villager House, kind of by the bamboo farm, and actually the last building that we'll probably get in before the bridge over there. That's right, that bridge that we built forever ago, the path right behind me, they might actually finally link up soon. Amazing stuff. Also, uh, did you notice I've been busy? The trees, they're gone. They're over in the tree farm now. It's amazing. I haven't cut the trees down in the tree farm yet, but this view right here, this is the view that I was always meant to have. Uh, anyways, it's time to build the building. Now, I, on today's building, I want to use a couple different blocks than normal, but we also are going to use a couple of the same blocks, uh, starting with dark oak. So, dark oak out in the water. I'm thinking this build should definitely sit on, like, stilts out in the water. I think that could be really, really cool. Uh, too wide, though? Mm, probably too thin. So, maybe three wide. Three wide is going to feel a whole lot better. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll have a stilt right there, right here. Then I think we should maybe go, like, two over right there. And then this time, we're gonna switch it up this is gonna be the middle of the build we'll have a uh, space of three then over here two and then we're gonna turn the build back now this build it, it doesn't actually need to be the biggest thing in the world it just needs to have a little bit of space here uh the fisher villager is a villager that honestly i'm probably not going to see very much and don't get me wrong i care about the fisher villager i wanted to have like a like a good life and all you know but i, I it's a fisher villager i don't really care about it so i'm sorry fisher villager I'm sorry. We're gonna have to work with the land today too. I'm thinking this hill is probably going to be pushed back somehow. We'll continue this path down towards the bridge probably and then link them up somewhere. I don't really know how I'm going to achieve all of that, but somehow. So uh, anyways, to finish everything off, I think we wanna put a couple stilts out here, but actually, um, no, 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 this is good. This is probably good because then we'll have a piece of the building over here that we walk into. And then we'll have the main building out there on silts in the water and the villager can walk over there and then over here if I let the villager too. Yeah, that's probably going to be pretty good. All right, it wouldn't be a post Mesa episode if I didn't pull out the terracotta. That's right. It's terracotta time again. I'm still in love with this stuff. I get a couple episodes later and I'm going to be in love with this stuff for the rest of the series. I promise. I 100% I, I guarantee every single episode from this point on will have terracotta in it. We, we will be building everything out of terracotta and I might even, highly considering this one here, uh, pull down the whole storage building, like, like the entire cathedral, and just change it to a terracotta square. I mean, let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Before I do anything big, I'll, I'll of course check the comments, but I'm pretty sure about that one. Like, like imagine it. All of those pattern terracotta, like the ones that I used in the last episode, but not those ones, because we already used those ones, of course, of course. Uh, the whole building, just random pattern terracotta instead of a cathedral. Cathedral, it's kind of stinky anyways, you know? It's old. Mm-hmm. You know, let me know what you think. All right, so I think we're gonna actually have to stop the build right here. I, I'm sorry, but look at this, the bricks. I really, I don't have as many bricks as I really thought I would, so we, we need to fix that. We need to go find some clay. I think we could probably find some clay like right over here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, but maybe not in the jungle. Could we find some like in, yeah, yeah. looks like there's a bunch in this river. This is perfect. I don't wanna take the clay from the jungle because I want it to look good still, but over here, this clay, this clay is definitely game. We, we can take all of this clay and it won't matter. I, I just need a little bit more clay for bricks. I, I don't need like a bunch, but I want to mix some bricks in here. <gasps> Another parrot with a bee. 
And the bee is pollinated. What is this bee doing? Bird, bird seeds. <gasps> Jack, Jack, I will name you Jack. Jack, you're amazing. Bee, you ran away from home. Bees, uh, don't get me wrong, I love bees. They're amazing, perfect shape, the eyes, they're amazing. They're, they're great, but this bee is a runaway bee. I don't want this bee anymore. You can live in the wild, you uncivilized beast. Okay, Jack, you're gonna have to fly a little bit faster than that. Come with me, I have something really cool to show you. Jack, come with me to the bird palace. The bird palace in the sky. Is this place right here? Jack, where are you? Where are you, boy? I can hear you. Jack, no, Jack, Jack, I know you made it over to the jungle. Come on, show yourself, show yourself, make yourself seen. Jack, where are you? Where are you, my boy? Uh, Jack. <gasps> Jack, there you are. No, 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 no. Get away from the ledge. Get away from the ledge, Jack. Please, please. No, no, no. Please, please. Don't, don't, don't. Not like this. Not like this. Come over here. All right, Jack. Come on in. Come on in. Really, really welcome in. You can sit right there. Jack lives up right there. This is perfect. And then Mark, Mar Mark lives right there. The two birds reunited. Twins, brothers, you could even say. Finally, reunited. Burb, you're an unwanted terror causer. You're not related to those other birds. You don't get to hang out with them. So I made some changes. The clay has been cooking up like half of it. Not all of it, just like half. Half is fine. And then the build. So when I was flying back over here, I realized how far it was actually sticking out into the water. It looked a little bit too far. And then I thought about it. I don't want this build to be entirely blocked, cut off. So I moved this build in one block. It is only one block, but it should make a little bit of a difference. This part right here looked way too long. So I shortened it by two blocks. I think that looks a whole lot better. And it's definitely going to be easier to work with. All right, so check this out. This is one of the best duos like, like ever. Practically ever. Bricks and Derricotta. Look at that. They blend together so well because of the tones. And I'd like to try and do it over here. Now, honestly, I don't know if this is going to match any of the other builds. We're going to have to try like really hard to make this fit a match in the jungle. But I think we can do it. And what could we do to help this thing fit in a little bit more? Well, this is what we could do. Spruce stones. There are spruce stones all over all of the builds that we've done so far. So if we could bring the spruce stone into this build, that would definitely be good. So front door, that's going to go right there. Now this looks a little bit intense, so I'm thinking maybe we could actually strip this, and this will actually tone that down. It might help it match some of the other builds, and I'm not too sure. Uh, it might be a little bit much of the spruce color, but it's okay. We'll see. We'll try and make it work. So the front porch is gonna be right here, which means the land definitely needs to move, and the trees too, and the sheep soon. Okay, guys, I, I promise, maybe. Maybe I don't promise. Eventually, they'll move. I'm thinking cool front porch for sure. So this is how it's gonna be done. We're gonna put a terracotta there, a terracotta there, a brick there, a brick there. Four fence gates to round everything off. One right there, one right there, then one over here, one over here. That's gonna be the perfect porch. That's gonna look really cool. All right, so now let's talk about this part of the build. This part of the build is gonna be a little bit more interesting. So it's gonna be above the water. That means the water definitely needs to stay underneath the thing. I'm thinking what we could do is maybe tower up one, two, like that, and then do staircases. And then these staircases will help the build look like it like rounds underneath. Uh, that could be kind of cool. Then I'm thinking some kind of fishing dock right here. We'll have to secure it so the villager can't get out, but but fishing dock this will go over in the center maybe we do like a wall there or something then to keep everything symmetrical fishing dock on this side so basically we skip the staircases there we go over this way all the way around just like this and then finally to finish everything off like that now it's gonna be a little bit weird because it's gonna be higher than the rest of the build but i think we could maybe make it work like in here we step up and then we'll have the floor and then maybe we step up again to go into the back part of the build like the main part i think that could be pretty cool windows i don't know how many windows are really going to be on this build i might just end up leaving a lot of it open but windows wherever there are windows i think we should do blue stained glass that could be kind of cool a little bit more interesting than just plain old clear glass i don't think we really have used very much dark blue stained glass so we'll go with dark blue now i i think the window should be three high i think that'll be good and the same thing on the other side this will get stripped that'll get stripped and then because we stripped all of those we'll strip all of these two hopefully this will work out and then it's basically time for the roof line and now i know for a fact that on the roof on this build stone bricks for sure but the shape of the roof that's what i don't know for a fact i don't know it at all actually i think maybe staircases staircases i think staircases should be on this part of the roof probably and then these staircases should just go up like normal like a normal 45 degree angle i, I want this build to stay small too so we'll start the staircases pretty low down i think that would look probably better than higher up so staircases start right here it's a little close to the porch but it should be fine and they go up to there then we have a center peak this time so we'll do that and then like slabs in there is that gonna be good mm-hmm mm -hmm. it's gonna be low and small but that's fine that's fine that's good accent block in the middle to switch things up 
probably cobblestone staircases and definitely absolutely mossy cobblestone staircases too those will both look good i think what we'll do is maybe have these go all the way back other than this spot right here that's kind of the end of that roof so we'll go up with more stone bricks here to frame the roof same thing happens on the other side keep everything symmetrical stone bricks cobblestone and then uh slabs right down the middle maybe we do some kind of fancy peak on the front maybe we don't i'm not too sure something like that how's it look mm-hmm i think that looks pretty good that's fine i think that's good okay so that part of the build that was easy that makes sense yeah th the next part of the build definitely couldn't could be as easy okay i i don't really know what i'm gonna do here i i don't know if slabs are, are the way like we do slabs like that um okay ac actually maybe maybe yes maybe we're onto something here Th that was too small i i think w what if we were to do like a staircase there and a staircase here that's gonna blend together really weirdly we'll, we'll have to fix that later but maybe staircases then uh what if we recreated what we were just doing there so like like an arch really flat on the top though not good so maybe we do that there okay okay th that's promising we can copy that on the other side all right that's that's good that's good now how do we end it though uh I, I think that'll actually be pretty easy this is probably how we end it staircase over there and then a staircase over here right this is probably the way and then maybe to make this a little bit more interesting on this side a slab right there we're not going to put slabs on that part of the roof we're going to keep it thin uh, so a slab right there too and then just fix that connection i think that's it I think that's actually it i i'm pretty sure that's gonna be the roof line now could we maybe do something a little bit different on this side though so a slab right there we we, we go up like that then another slab then another slab oh is that yeah 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 then another slab okay okay i i got it another slab like that and then this will go up to to catch everything up okay mm -hmm. so basically we're doing slabs over here and then this would be the side again so i think that would mean a staircase somewhere in here uh yeah I, I think a staircase right there and then a slab on the bottom i think that would be that okay <laughs> i definitely need some work yeah much better much better for sure so there we go that's that side on this side i did the same exact thing we have an arch over the window a flat spot in the middle arch over the window and then finally to finish everything off small peak over there okay that's perfect and now all that i need to do is basically catch the build up and get it ready for an actual villager so far so good i think the build is really coming along on the inside i'm thinking oak floor oak floor would be really nice and then we'll do a staircase right there step up to this layer in here same thing over here though more oak floor maybe some spruce trap doors underneath this thing to make it blend in then some fishing docks over here now the fishing docks i'd like to talk about that a little bit so we're gonna have fisher villager living in here fisher villagers or villagers in general they kind of have a mind of their own they, they like to do whatever they want and i have a feeling the fisher villager might think it is a good idea to go stand out by the water and, and just and just stare and, and maybe try and like even get into the water i don't know uh that's definitely not going to be allowed here for sure that would be a really really bad thing so i'm thinking we'll have two docks coming off of this thing maybe like that maybe i lower them down a little bit more i'm not too sure maybe they come out like one more though three is a good number but the villager will be cut off the villager won't be able to come out here we'll put like fence gates up there or something uh because i think a villager wandering around out here uh, or we put fences all around it something like that but a villager going all the way out into the water that uh, definitely sounds like a bad idea not something that we want not at all so definitely gonna have to figure that one out and gonna have to figure out the rest of the build So I have two news, two bit, two bits of news. Uh, one of them is good, one of them is bad. The the good news, I, I got a lot of work done. Like the build has progressed really well. It has exceeded all expectations. Actually, check it out. It looks really nice in my opinion. I like it. And I'm really really happy with it. I'm thinking blue bed for sure because Fisher Villager. I put gates right here to cut the the villager off from the dock. That's perfect. That's good. I was also maybe thinking actually a crimson door on the build that might look pretty cool let's see does it work uh does it work let's see Mhm. Mm yeah yeah that's cool that, that's good maybe like a lantern on the porch or something that could be cool bone meal the ground you know make it look better so uh yeah that's the good news the bad news well the bad news is that i don't have any bad news aha aha i've figured it out the bad news is that this pumpkin farm 
is overflowing again. It is simply too productive. It, it's crazy. We need farmer villagers. For today, the path is going to be actually just about done. So I've connected this building to this building, and then I think this path will probably end up continuing this way towards the bridge path. And then up high, I, I put a staircase to go up to the actual storage building now. Much nicer. And then this path. I'm thinking this path will probably also actually continue forwards. So like I'll raise the land over here, and then it'll link up to the bridge somehow too. I think that might be nice. And then also, this path probably goes over that way too i'm not 100 sure how but that's kind of what i'm thinking right now now uh, inside of the build to finish everything off i'm thinking pumpkin right there and then carpet in here somehow it's a small area so maybe one rug right there that should probably be fine then maybe like three there i feel like that's kind of good now i i guess i think it's villager time Oh, and by the way, eventually, for sure, we're going to come back in here and get, like, trees back in here and everything like that. Trees are going to add to the jungle a lot, but today just isn't that day. So, villager time. Over to the villager breeder. All right. So, villager time. We need to turn the villager breeder on. I have a feeling the villagers will breed probably, like, right away. Uh, let's go see. Okay, they're looking at each other. That's perfect. So far, so good. They're staring. You guys have to have enough food by now. Come on. Come on. All right, the farmers, the farmers harvesting. Nice, nicely done. Look at the villager. The beds are, they're, they're open now. Yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You have enough food. Stop being greedy. Stop being greedy. Let's go. Let's get this going. I don't have all day. Come on. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's actually happening. Now, please, jungle villager, please, jungle, jungle villager outfit, not Taiga, not Taiga. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, this is actually happening. Okay, and it's almost nighttime too, which means they, they should try and go right over there. Where's the child? <gasps> it's a jungle child. Okay, this is amazing. This is amazing. It's a jungle villager. Okay, awesome. Okay, cool. Sweet. Now, the villager breeder, it can turn off. The child will be able to come over here, and then we take the child in a boat over to the new place. Oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, this is not good. This is not good. So, baby villager, hello. Okay, in a boat. Yeah, okay, it's baby villager, which means it's going to be kind of annoying. We have to wait for this villager to grow up before I can trade with a villager. I should have done that earlier and had the villager waiting and ready. And, and then it would have been great and, and perfect, but it's not. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I guess I'll be back in, like, I think it takes, like, 10, maybe 20 minutes. Ah, that's so painful. Ah, uh, well, the, the barrel is going to go there. It's going to be great. And the village is going to live in here. All right, well, in the meantime, let's take a look at the comment of the day. Suggestion. You should make a circular table in the storage building where you will put the map of the world on it. It is a great place for cats to sit to. Ah, uh, genius. I feel like I've seen that idea a couple of times, and today is finally the day. Check it out. Circular building right here. Now, the only difference, map. I, I don't think I'm going to put the map on it, but circular table. And by the way, look, the cat's name is Rosie. You guys pointed that out, and then I got closer to the cat and realized I had name tagged the cat. So, yeah, na name's Rosie. Today, we're also going to finish up the storage building a little bit more, too. I've been waiting for carpet. This next one is something that I've been needing to do for a long time, and I finally think I maybe have enough red wool to be able to accomplish it. So the storage building, the concrete powder on the ground. So concrete powder was actually always a plan. I always wanted to leave this as concrete powder. I might change it to concrete, but in my opinion, concrete is just a little too flat looking. But the floor, it wasn't always meant to be so, so empty, big and open. Today, we can finally afford to put some carpets on the ground, like more than those ones, which will be cool. Now, I don't want to say that later on, I think I'm going to come back and put like a yellow stripe down these carpets, but I still don't have a yellow sheep, and I don't know if I really want to add to the whole sheep pen thing. So uh, for today, it's just going to be red carpet. Later, we'll add more detail to it. By the way, I put some chairs around the table, and yeah, I think I will probably end up moving more of the cats in here. I think that could be pretty cool. All right, moment of truth. Am I going to have enough? Oh, for sure. For sure. I'm going to easily have enough. Awesome. Now, in terms of the floor, I might come back later and change it. Maybe I'll run a pole or something, but I don't know. For now, it's going to be concrete powder. That's going to look good. This rug over here is a little bit shorter because of where the lectern is and just how things are set up over there. This one is going to be that long. The rugs are a little offset. I think that looks pretty nice. There we go. Storage building, a little bit more finished. It still needs chandeliers, but it's looking good. And big moment, gigantic moment, terracotta. You belong in the storage building right there forever. I'm going to move all the terracotta to that chest. Now I have one more over here on that wall. And then the barrels in over there. Villager, did you grow up yet? Are you grown? No, you're still a child. Aye, come on. 
Oh, you did it. You did it. I always knew you could do it. Congratulations, villager. Good job. Good job. Your name. I feel like the name, the perfect name for you is Post Malone. Your name is Post Malone. Okay, Post. Let's go. Let's go. Get inside of the house. Don't be like this. Don't be like this. You've already been difficult. You can't jump up that. You can't jump up that. Really? Come on. All right, look, only the most beautiful block for you. O only only the best looking thing in the world. Let's, let's go back over this way, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so the villager's right there. Let's see, will you take this job? Will you just turn around, perhaps, and dingle that way? Okay, so look, villager. Look, 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 look. You go, you go this way. Go, go into the house. Okay, fine, fine. I, I'll have you wait right there for a second. I'll get the workstation and move it closer. Look, I'll do anything for you just, just to work. Just for you to, like, listen. Listen and, and be good and, and listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look over here. Look over here. Come over here. Look, there's no fence gates even. Look, look. It's free. It's free. You can just walk right up here and you can go wherever you want, which is definitely going to be inside of that house right there. Let's go. I'll move you up the stairs myself. It's okay. That would work. No, don't jump off. Don't jump off. Don't jump off. Please, please. Oh, no. This is not good. I busted a hole in the floor. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I, I put a wall up behind the... No, what are you... Oh, you're a fisherman. You're a fisherman. Okay, okay, okay. Come, come over in, in, in here. That can't be the way the workstation is. Yeah. You're right there. Oh, we've done it. You, you live here and your trades... Oh, these are really painful trades. These are really bad trades. Oh, no. I don't know if I want to take any of those. I think we can get a strength trade on level one, uh, which is better. It's not good. It's not good for sure. We have a better strength trade over there. Uh, a coal trade. Is that worth it? I'm going to keep the coal trade. All right. So it's nighttime. You know the plan here. Fermented spider eye right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. A zombie actually spawned like right over here. Look, there are a couple zombies. This is even easier than the zombie spawner. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, look, one of you needs to be smart enough to find your way over here. Come on. Come on. Just one of you. One of you. It sounds like there's a baby zombie, but it's fine. Okay. Yeah. 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 Just one. Just one. Okay. Okay. This is good. Now check out the villager. I'm sorry, villager. I'm so sorry. You guys hang out for a minute. I got to make a potion. All right, potions of weakness, turn them into splash potions. And then while we wait over here, golden apple, that's perfect. I really should have this stuff like stocked up and ready to go, like seriously. All right, splash potion of weakness, that's perfect. We have the golden apple and then the villager probably has converted by now. So all we need to do is get over to the villager, take the zombie out and then cure it. All right, so how are we doing over here? There's the villager, perfect, perfect, perfect. Where's the zombie? Oh, the zombie despawned too. Oh, you maybe took out this. No, you wouldn't have done that, that's weird. Uh, well, anyways, we gotta cure you. <gasps> oh no, oh no, I threw the potion in the wrong spot. Why did I throw it out into the water? Oh, oh no. I don't even know how that happened. I don't even, I don't even know. Look, we'll do it this way this time. We're standing right here, uh, villager. Come on over here, okay. Yup, yup, no missing. Okay, there we go. There you go. Cure. Now, I don't know how bright it's gonna be in there, so I'm just gonna cover that up, then I'm gonna cover this side up, and then I'm gonna sleep. <gasps> Oh, it happened, it happened, it happened. Okay, let's check the trades now. This coal trade might have been a bad idea. It might be, no, four coal. Oh, that's so good, that's so good, that's so easy. We have so much coal anyways. We can level this villager up at least once for sure. Let's see the other trades. Maybe they'll be even better. What else are you gonna have? What else are you gonna have? Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess this couldn't, this wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I had more cod. Ah, that's gonna be it for today. Yeah, so fishermen villager, they're not exactly the best villager in the game. Kind of just like fishing, though. It's not exactly the best thing in the game. Today, Dark Panther 7. Dergner, thank you so much for the support. If you haven't yet, leave a like, subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Thank you all for watching. This has been me, your boy. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.